I was asked recently if I could give any advice in regard of a groom speech for someone who's getting married later on in the year. And although I haven't done a groom speech for some years, I thought I'd give it a go, do some research. Um, so I've been and found out what the uh, traditional response is and uh, also added to it what, what I do under the circumstances. So, first of all, uh, mostly traditionally, but uh, I thought I'd look at what the main objectives of the groom speech are. And this is roughly how it goes. Your job is to thank people who've helped make your day what it is, whoever all of those people may be. You're allowed to share a few anecdotes about yourself and your new wife. And traditionally, you're going to finish up by making a toast to the bridesmaids. Now, in addition to the main objectives of the speech, I also thought about the priorities that you have while you're making the speech, or maybe the priorities that you have when you're creating the speech in particular. And this is how I see them. They're twofold. And the first and most important thing is that whatever you say in this speech, you don't upset your bride. And secondly, and really equally as importantly, whatever you say in this speech, don't upset the bride's mother either. This is an important day for everyone. And your speech needs to reflect that. It needs to be happy and joyous for all involved. And... Uh, picking on someone unduly or maybe bringing up subjects, although funny, uh, might be far too embarrassing for some people to enjoy. All I'm saying is just take a little care, be thoughtful and be sensitive in the subjects that you choose to talk about. Okay, so this is where we come to how I would structure the speech itself. And as with all speeches, it has three basic components that I'd always recommend you think about individually. First is the introduction, secondly is the content, and thirdly is the conclusion. I suggest in this case that for your introduction you use the opportunity to cover some of the main traditional objectives like this. If the bride's father made a toast to the bride and groom, then thank him for doing so. If the bride's father, or bride's parents, or anyone else for that matter, paid for the wedding breakfast, thank them. If you paid for it yourself, you may not want to use this as an opportunity to re remind people of that fact. <laughs> Thank the bride's father, or the bride's parents, or the bride's mother for their daughter. And also remember to thank your guests for turning up, for the good wishes they've sent you, and for the gifts that they've given you. Now in this last part, you obviously want to thank your new wife for marrying you. Look at you. Uh, but you can also use this as the transition to the main content of your speech. I'll show you what I mean just here. You could say something along the lines of, and on the subject of my new wife. And you're going to make up a few little, well, you're going to create a few little stories here to tell. What I do, well, first of all, I tell everyone how that we how we met, how long we've known each other, and I'd actually sort of make a, a little story out of this. So, you know, I don't know. You could make the 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 moment you met as uh, romantic as you like, or if it was a little bit awkward, you could play on that, or if it was amusing, you can play on that. So either way around, make a, an interesting little story out of it. Now. Unless you met two days ago and you've run off 
to Las Vegas to get married quickly, the chances are there's been some time since you met and uh, and are now getting married, and there'll be one or two stories to tell about your life together so far. Funny stories are obviously the most entertaining, but as I said before, please be sure to pick something that your wife finds funny too. You don't want to embarrass or humiliate your new wife on her wedding day. She'll never forgive you. When you're done with that, tell everyone about the promote proposal of marriage. Who did it? Was it you or your wife? Uh, where did it happen? When did it happen? And again, try and make a short story out of it. And obviously, you know, you'd like to make this sort of as romantic as possible, I think. Now, you need to make a transition out of the content of your speech to get you to the conclusion. And what I suggest is something along the lines of, and that's how we ended up here today. So you're making reference of, that's the story of our, our life together, and this is how we end up here today, getting married. And finally, we're going to use the conclusion here to complete uh, our traditional objectives by thanking the bridesmaids for helping your wife throughout the day and you can tell them how charming and attractive they look and how good the dresses are although you might want to take it a little bit easy you've now got a new wife sitting beside you so you don't want to get her to get upset with you for uh, thinking far too much of the bridesmaids finally and to end your speech you make a toast to the bridesmaids along the lines of ladies and gentlemen please be upstanding and join me in drinking a toast to the bridesmaids so that's how I suggest you construct your groom speech that's probably how I do it I'm Chris Barnett this is Can Speak thanks for listening <laughs>